Diego State, they grab a win against San Jose State. This was one of those where, whew, cannot lose this game. And Jerry Palm, who is one of those bracketologists for CBS, he had San Diego State as, I believe, as a three seed in the tournament as of now. I don't know if they're going to be that high, but when you look at their resume overall, I know I've been tough on this team this year about them losing some games on the road, like against New Mexico and I believe Utah State. You know, I, I just have that high standard for this Aztecs team, regardless of where they're playing, especially with what happened last year, the long run that they went on. And I know how talented this group is and just how talented the program is pretty much year in, year out. Um, but overall, I mean, it's been a good year for this Aztecs team. And yeah, three-point shooting still was an issue tonight. I think 25% from three. But Jane Ledee continues to be one of the best players in the country. He obviously started off the season amazing. And tonight, I mean, it was a tough first half. I think you got to give credit to San Jose State for limiting Ledee as much as you could. Uh, I think no Aztecs scored 10 points there, any individual player in that first half, low scoring, but you felt, okay, it's, it's okay. And then second half, early second half, right, they get that double-digit lead, and then you're feeling really good. And then San Jose State, they make some threes, they get back into it. Also, it helped that the fouls were not called, at least um, in my opinion, they weren't called consistently enough. Um, Ford in favor of the Aztecs, especially Jaden Ledee. He was getting fouled all night, and it was a tough physical game on him, and that's probably how it's going to be in the Mountain West Tournament, um, in the NCAA Tournament, because I think opposing teams will see, all right, Aztecs, they're not great. They're not the greatest three-point shooting, so let's make it as hard as possible on Jaden Ledee and then hope that they have a rough shooting night, and maybe that's how you can beat San Diego State. Um, but as for tonight, I mean, winning this game, they had to do it, like, because you, they didn't have, they still don't, obviously, with this win, they didn't have a bad loss. No quad one losses, or excuse me, all of the losses that they've had, I believe, like true road games have been quad one because it's good teams in the Mountain West. If they would have lost here against San Jose State at home, but by the way, this is 20 straight wins at home for San Diego State, so you love to see that. I believe that's a, is that a current record right now? I think Kansas just lost at home. They had a 19-game win streak. Um, but anyway, this this Aztecs team, it, if they would have lost to San Jose State tonight, they definitely would not be a three seed. They would have gotten knocked down for sure. Um, they still would have been an NCAA tournament team. I mean, they have a good resume, really good resume. Um, I think that just the losses, especially for Aztecs fans, though, they just stick with us more um, than sometimes the wins. Like, I, I, I almost forgot how close of a game it was at San Jose State last time around. Um, and Jane Ledee had a really good game that game. So it was another really impressive night from Jane Ledee, considering what he had to face there in that first half and just all night with the, uh, the physicality of the Spartans. But the Aztecs, they got the job done, and now they don't even play this weekend. They've got a couple more games coming up, no more games here in the month of February, but it's now turning the calendar to the month of March for UNLV and Boise State. 